The anti-Semitic flyers and protests that we showed you yesterday setting the stage for a tragic anniversary today. Three years ago, 11 members of the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh were killed in what's been called the deadliest anti-Semitic attack in the nation's history. Our Jesse DeGoyado takes us to San Antonio's Holocaust Memorial Museum devoted to the millions of lives lost. A photo of an old woman with a Jewish star is especially meaningful to Nami Ikalov. And the reason it speaks to me is because I am a second generation survivor. There's a room lined with photos of family members donated by other second generation survivors living in San Antonio. Almost every artifact at the Holocaust Museum, many of them disturbing to see even now, also were donated by members of San Antonio's Jewish community. We don't want to be the best kept secret in town. Especially not when anti-Semitic flyers and protests show up around this time of year, when Nami Ikalov says the Holocaust was stoked by the indifference of bystanders during an infamous night of terror in Poland. Which is why he says the museum is founded on not being a bystander. Instead, being an upstander means you're not going to stand idly by and allow those things to happen. The executive director says coming here could educate and inspire someone to counteract anti-Semitism by educating and inspiring others. I'm a 30-year educator, and I believe that education can really be the silver bullet that will move us forward. Thanks to volunteers pushing for the legislation in 2019, its history is being taught in Texas public schools during Holocaust Remembrance Week in late January. Students will learn more and more and hopefully be the kind of human beings that we want running our future. Jesse DeGoyado. KSAT 12 News.